Hi guys, my name is Minhajuddin Ansari and today we will be answering two important questions. The first question is that how does a computer understand data? And the second question is that how does a computer store data? So we know that the computer cannot understand English. A computer can only understand uh, a computer can only understand ones and zeros and this is called binary digits. And this is also called machine language. So the computer can only understand a sequence of ones and zeros like this and so on. So, I mean, everything, a character, an integer, a decimal number, it is first converted into a sequence of ones and zeros before a computer can understand it. And this one and zero, this is called binary digit. And this occupies one bit of space in the memory one bit of space and one bit of space is the smallest unit of space in the main memory so in the c language a character a b c a character is represented by a sequence of eight bits and an integer one two three four five and so on is represented by 32 bits in the c language and different languages have different amount of bits that represent these data types. So if I write the character A, the character A, it is, it is represented by eight bits. So it is written like 01000001. So this is the binary digit translation of the character A. So whenever you write the character A, the computer sees it as 01000001. The computer does not see it as the letter A. Similarly, if I write the letter B, the computer sees it as 01000010. And we will just shortly explain how to translate any character into its binary equivalent. So this is what the computer understands to represent the letter B. The computer cannot understand what this is. Now a group of 8 bits. A group of 8 bits is called 1 byte. So 1 byte is equal to 8 bits. And so the character takes 1 byte of space in the main memory. Similarly, integer takes up 4 bytes of space and which is equal to 32 bits in the main memory. And if I wrote an integer, for example, I wrote the integer 8. So in the C language, it would be represented by z uh, 32 zeros and ones. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Sequence of ones and zeros represents the integer 8 and I will shortly tell you how to convert any integer or any character into its binary equivalent. So now let me first write an example here 0010. What does this, what number does this binary sequence represent? So I'm going to tell you how to do that. You simply have to multiply each digit with a power of 2 and increment the power of 2. So starting from the right side, the first digit is 0. So you multiply it with the first power of 2 which is 0. And then the second digit is 1. So you multiply the second digit with the second power of 2 which is 1. And similarly you multiply 0 with 2 power 2 and 0 with 2 power 3. So you are incrementing it first, second, third, fourth. You're incrementing the power of two and you are also multiplying it with the digit right here. So the sum, the sum of all, I mean individual products gives us the integer value. So in this case, this code represents the integer value two because all of them, I mean multiplied by zero becomes zero and one multiplied by two is equal to one, two. So this sequence right here, this is equal to the integer value 2. Similarly, you can represent any integer value. Now let's go back a bit. Right here, 
since an integer value is represented by 32 bits in the C language. So if we start from the right side right here, so 0 multiplied by 2 power 0 is 0, 0 multiplied by 2 power 1 is 0, 0 multiplied by 2 power uh, 2 is 0, and right here where the 1 is, 1 times 2 power 3 is equal to 8, and the rest are 0. So when we sum them, we get the integer value 8. So this is how integers are represented in the C language. And now you might be wondering that, okay, integers are represented by 1s and zeros, but how to represent characters A, B, Cs in 1s and zeros? Because these aren't integers, these are characters. <clears throat> so the C language uses something called the ASCII code to represent characters A, B, and C, and so on. And in my previous video, I told you to search ASCII tables. So you can search it right now if you haven't done it before. The ASCII table, I mean, basically, the ASCII table has ASCII codes for letters and characters. And the ASCII code is basically the integer code for the characters. So if you look up at the ASCII table, A has the integer code 65. So that is why at the start, I represented A by 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1. So if you convert this, you will get 2, 1 times 2 power 0 right here and 1 times 2 power 6 right here. And if you sum them, you will get 65, which is the integer code for the letter A. So that is how the computer understands the letter A. Similarly, B has the integer code 66. So in the C language, this is converted into binary digits and you get 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is the code for B and this is how a computer converts characters into binary sequence. And since the, in the C language a character is equal to 1 byte takes a 1 byte of space in, which is 8 bits, that is why there is 8 bits written right here. <clears throat> So this is all about how a computer understands data and since this video is getting longer, in the next video I will talk about how a computer stores data. So thanks for watching the video and this is my first video on, I mean writing like this on the whiteboard so I might have been a bit slow so I apologize for the inconvenience.